morning. So here we are in Qualicum. It's getting pretty busy. Today is the car show and we're gonna go check it out. It's a annual event. I think it was canceled for a couple years during COVID. So I think this is the second year now. So we're gonna go check it out. Tons of people here and it's really exciting because I have a friend here today with their Thunderbird. So we're gonna go check that out and uh, see what he has to say about that. So yeah, oh boy, it's really busy. I'm parked way far away, but anyways, we'll uh, get going. Come on, let's go. Hi, we're James and Wanda Britton and this is our 1957 Thunderbird. Me and Judy, we go way back. We graduated from high oh, school together back in, do I say the year? Yeah. 1982. <laughs> like that's like four million years ago we've known I each know. other. <laughs> it's a long time. It's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> sure, well it's a 1957 Ford Thunderbird. It was built in Michigan and uh, we purchased it about two years ago and uh, and uh, done some little bits and pieces of work on it, but I mean, it was pretty much fully restored. I've always restored cars, but I felt uh, uh, this time in my age, getting ready to retire, that uh, I'd get a car that was pretty much complete. So this just needs some TLC and uh, a little bit of touch up here and there. So this, this is your dream car, this isn't is it? Yes. dream car. Yeah. When I met him, when he was a teenager, he had pictures of these from National Geographic advertisements all over his walls. And I had other so pictures from National Geographic too, but... Mostly the mostly 57 T-Bird. <laughs> that was so you, the one. So you manifested this T-Bird because you had yes. pictures of it. Yeah, yeah, it was, it it was my goal. Yeah. So the, uh, the distinctiveness about this car versus the other uh, early Thunderbirds, so these are called Baby Birds. Um, they came out in 55 and uh, there was, uh, in 55 the trunks were, were had the, the tire was in the trunk, but they were, it, there was no room to put luggage in there, so people complained about it. So in 56, they put the tire outside the trunk, and they, they called it a continental kit, and then that created more room in the trunk, but then the tire was in the way, so you had to move it to get the trunk open. So in 57, they actually made it with a, a longer back on it and, uh, and a bigger trunk, and they put the tire back in the trunk. And they also, in 57, which is common for pretty much all cars in 1957, they all, they all had what's called fins. So oh. this car has quite distinctive uh, fins on the back. Cool, look at this fin. And everybody says it's got such a big trunk, but like, considering um, some of the other cars have. Whoa. Okay, I'll pop the hood now and uh, show you the engine. Excellent. Whoa. Look at that. What are we looking at here? So this is a, a 312 V8. Um, it's a stock uh, engine. Um, it actually had two different engines. It had a 292 and then it had the bigger 312. So it has 245 horsepower and it burns a lot of gas. <laughs> what kind of gas is it? What kind of gas does it take? It, the most expensive, premium. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah of so, But yeah, it, you know what, I mean, it's if you drive it conservatively, it's it gets fairly good fuel economy. How often do you drive it? Not very often. <laughs> <laughs> Just a car show? Sunny days. Yeah, sunny days. Only sunny yeah. days, yeah. Well, thankfully it's not raining today. I was kind of concerned that... Yeah, well, you know what? Rain. It did rain a little bit when we came up this morning. We, yeah. we left at about quarter after six this morning to get here, so... We had to use the cute wipers. Aren't they cute? Yeah. Oh my god. They're like wipers. Barbie size. Cute. Hola. I'm gonna get in, Wanda. Okay. <laughs> All right, Judy. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, this is oh, no. so cool. Oh, <laughs> well, did she get in? Oh, it's <laughs> it's a uh, automatic. Yes, it is. Oh. It's, a, it's a two speed Ford automatic. Look at all the little gadgets in here. Ford automatic. Where are you going? Does the radio work? No, actually, it doesn't. No? It's a tube radio, so I get, need to replace some tubes. And do tubes. You need to light your cigarette? Do you have oh, a yeah. Lighter? yeah. Where's the ashtray? Is this the ashtray? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Nice and clean. You haven't been smoking in here. No, no. no that's good. Where's the lighter? Right next to it there. There's lighter. Yeah. Wipers. Hood. And, and the AM radio. Yes. You can pick your, your station. Oh, yeah. Cool. And it's got town and country, so when you press a button, it automatically yeah. tunes. I won't do it now because the ignition's yeah. off. Do you remember oh my the uh, American Graffiti? Yeah. Um, Suzanne, Suzanne Summers. Suzanne Summers drove around in a, a 56. Right? <laughs> nice. Remember those little windows? Yeah. That yeah. That's so fun. All right. This is so fun. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to break it. You won't break no it. Good? <laughs> oh, it's very low. <laughs> nice t-shirt. Let's let's have oh, a look. The shirt. This I bought this for him. I love my wife. Really, I love it. When 
my wife lets me drive my T-Bird. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh. That's so great. What a beautiful car. It must be so much fun. Well, you yeah. know, it, it rides like an old car though. It's yeah. kind of like, and when you go around a corner, you don't lean into the door in case it falls open. You, you hold on to something else. <laughs> yeah. And I've driven it a little bit and the brakes, it's like you're pushing and you got to push, but please stop. <laughs> yeah. It's not where you just touch the brake and you go forward. Yeah. What else do you notice about that? Uh, it's just old, smelly, it smells like burnt oil, but it, uh, you know what, it's a classic and it's, uh, that's what you get with an older car, yeah. you know, if you keep it stock and you don't, uh, you don't, uh, you know, change it and put all new stuff in it, it's, uh, you know, it has a little kind of clunks and creaks and squeaks of an old car. I mean, it's 1957, so what is 60, what do we figure, 66 years old, 67 years old? All right, well, the best way is... Thanks, that's so great. What kind of car is this? 1955 Buick. Nice. Yeah. How often do you drive it? Every chance I get. Yeah? Yeah, nice. yeah you bet. Oh, well, how yeah. fun. That's yeah. so, so great. Yeah, thanks so thanks. much. Yeah, the kids love it. I yeah. bet, yeah. yeah sure. That's cool. All right. Have a great day. So in, in, uh, so in the early 60s, Studebaker of Canada was the importer and distributor for Volkswagen and Datsun. Really? Yeah. So if you want to buy a Volkswagen, you went to the Studebaker dealership. Cool. Studebaker. Is that solid? Oh, I miss our van so much. <laughs> That's the number one thing I've heard today. Boy, do I regret selling mom. I love those old wagons. <laughs> What's going on here? Well, right now, what it is is we just bought this car. What is it? So we're trying to decide whether or not we want to turn it into a cop car. Yeah. Or keep it original like this. So the wife and I are going back and forth. The Dodge Mayfair was a cop car in Canada. Oh. This one was it. This is the original for it, but now we just want to decide which way we want to restore it, whether or not we go original again or cop car. Hmm. I think a cop car. I think that would be cool. Just got to check the box. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I'll do my initials here. All right, there you go. There's my vote. Do I have to put it in or? You can definitely okay. put it in. Okay. Yeah, and that's oh, about cute. what it would look like. Nice. Big blinky light on the top. That's so great. Well, good luck. I, I'm not, oh, I almost stole your pen. There you go. <laughs> I should vote too. Oh, Thank yeah, you, you got to vote yes. too. Vote as well. The more votes I get, the more it helps me, you know? So this car is a, uh, a Crown Victoria, and um, there was a, a couple different models of it. This one's called a Skyliner, um, and the significant part about this car is that, that it has a glass roof. Oh yeah, there's my Costco card, Skyliner convenience. So yeah, my first company was, was called Skyliner after this car. Um, but you know, a lot of cars like the Tesla has a glass roof and it's so innovative, but you know, this is a 1956, and it has a glass roof. And I'll just show you the roof. Cool. So if you just look down inside, you can see right through the top of the oh, roof. Oh, wow. Yeah. What a, a great little, car. Yeah. So it, it had a convertible model. It also had a retractable hardtop. And then, of course, just the standard um, regular uh, coupe style. So. Mm. Nice. And I think it, there's probably versions of this, different versions of this car all through the car show. Awesome. Let's go find them. Yeah. 547-158-547. Pink ticket. Mm -hmm. 
So with the top down on this one, you can you can just walk right through. There's no, there's no support. Well, there's it's just basically an open frame. Like when the top goes down, and the top same thing here. The trunk opens up. The top goes down into the trunk. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Judges? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a fun job. <laughs> Have fun. It's a difficult job because there's so many beautiful. <laughs> oh, I bet. Oh, it's crazy. It's unreal. How do you do it? Well, just you just really got to start saying, "Oh, pass that guy," you know, like because there's so many great ones. Yeah. Yeah. It's really tough. I yeah, bet. it's definitely tough. Yeah. James? This is a GT40. This is, uh, I don't know what year this one is, but it's a, it's a newer one. But they've been making this car since the 60s and it was actually originally designed to, to compete against Ferrari. Um, 350. And uh, it actually won. And, and they've built it since, but very limited number of cars, so it's quite, quite rare. Nice. But super high performance sports car made by Ford and Shelby. Thanks so much, James and Wanda, for showing me your awesome T-Bird. So cool, and so nice to see you too. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. It was a pleasure. It's, it's <laughs> Thanks Can't so much. Can't wait to watch your YouTube channel, Judy. <laughs> and what's it called? It's called Judy's YouTube no, channel. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, Juice Adventures. Oh, right. Hey, Juice Adventures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I have enjoyed. They're, oh, yeah. they're quite amusing. Well, yeah. baby, baby steps get better. Baby and, steps. And educational. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. So thanks so much for uh, showing us your car, and we'll see you guys later. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Judy. Yeah,